When Ubuntu announced they were dropping the Unity desktop, some of you said, yay, but they're switching to GNOME or GNOME. And some of you said, no. Well, which is it? I'm not sure, but is KDE Neon maybe an alternative to the Ubuntu desktop? Maybe. Let's take a look. So I'm running this inside a virtual machine. It's running um, smoothly, even without installing this, running this in live mode. Very impressive. Um, it's very um, responsive, and that's good. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, I know some of you, the GNOME desktop is not your favorite. Um, it's not mine. Um, as it stands now, I don't think it's something for beginners, but that can change uh, during the next, uh, when the next official LTS Ubuntu is released with GNOME or GNOME. But KDE Neon appears to be popular. This is the latest download from the website, um, the Plasma Desktop. So let's take a look at this and uh, see if this is a viable alter alternative to the Ubuntu Desktop. Let me go to full screen it since you guys know what I look like. Now you guys know I already like the Mate desktop, whether it's Linux Mint Mate, Ubuntu Mate, this is so far my favorite. Let's go ahead and full screen this. Okay. I looked at the uh, Neon, the installer for Neon. It appears to be user friendly and an, an automatic installer, which is good especially for beginners. So the desktop here is the standard desktop or default desktop for KDE Neon. And I think a beginner would do very fine with this in, uh, in contrast to the GNOME desktop. If you go to the bottom left, now the one thing I would change is maybe make this start menu, this start icon a little bit different, but that's probably being picky. When you left click this, you have some options here, such as search, web browser, system settings, settings and so on. Uh, some shortcuts here at the bottom. I would probably change this. I would um, I would right click alternatives and some choices here. I would probably go with the application menu if you are a beginner. Now the one nice thing about this, you don't have to install uh, extensions to make this uh, functionable immediately after install. Now with GNOME, you generally have to install extensions uh, to make it more, um, well, more easy for beginners to get used to at least. And sometimes, uh, at least sometimes, beginners will have problems because those extensions don't always work. So I think this is better, similar to what you would see in Windows, or at least Windows, uh, what, 7? Let's look at the, um, let's look at uh, the system monitor. And it looks like 422 megabytes. I have allotted about two gigs of RAM. That's not bad at all. That's very nice for a KDE desktop. Of course, you can right click as you would in Windows and navigate through this desktop. The Dolphin File Manager, in my opinion, is one of the best. Full featured, easy to navigate through, and it's, I think it's awesome. Now keep in mind if you install this, this will run a little bit faster, even though it's running quite nicely as it is. Let's go to configure desktop. I like the wallpaper. And it looks like wallpaper is only one choice, but you can go online and download some others quite easily. I think I'll skip this for now. Mouse actions, location, icons, filter, and some tweaks. So very user friendly. Of course, the KDE or Kubuntu desktop uh, is famous for uh, widgets or plasmoids, I believe they are called. If you want to jazz up your desktop, you have some choices. Let's see, uh, I would probably, well, if you have Bluetooth, there's a Bluetooth plasmoid. Is there a weather plasmoid? Let's search it. Okay, let's try that. See if it works in live mode.
right click to settings oh I used to live in Orlando let's see if that works we'll try the International Airport apply okay Ooh, a high of 97 today Ooh, my friends will be cooking in Orlando so yeah this works pretty good even in live mode so I think we'll uh, leave this the way it is you can move it around of course again this will run smoother in a full install of course you can uh, left click and you can change the panel the height the screen edge and move it any way that you want to I think I'll leave this maybe that's too big I'll leave that the way it is it looks fine so let's navigate through this and see what we got I like what I see so far okay I'm running this on a desktop so there is no brightness or battery setting printers yeah I don't have any printer printers there so we can't get out of that left click again devices applications uh, let's right click and see what we have general audio volume recording output input configuration yep pretty simple networks device notifier security updates I will not go through that of course you can right click on a panel and some other options also if you hit the Windows super key that'll bring up the uh, start or the launcher and I think this is going to be easier for beginners again there is nothing extra there are no extensions to install uh, to make this usable at least for beginners and that's why I think I like this audio and video settings audio hardware setup so very easy at least I think so if you just start typing I believe this is called K runner searching your desktop so let's see Firefox hit enter again it's running pretty good even in a live environment so if you were a Windows user wanted to try this you don't have to uninstall Windows you can run it without installing just to try it out now keep in mind as a full install it will run faster maybe a lot faster but so far in a live environment it's pretty darn good let's search myself see what we got I think for speed though I would probably go with uh, Chrome or Chromium Firefox tends to run a little bit slow and of course in a virtual environment live mode it's going to run even slower okay let's get out of that let's take a look at some of the applications real quick multimedia VLC is very good ocular settings system yeah there isn't a lot installed here but that's okay that's all right let's see let's go to system settings pretty much self-explanatory auto start background services I would probably disable Bluetooth if I would install this I wouldn't need it but that's just an example login screen again Linux is highly customizable only one theme but you can download other ones of course lost and found hmm utilities again very easy go back to the system monitor I like this yeah quite a bit let's right click what is the other launcher application dashboard let's take a look or maybe not <laughs> we may have to install this to make that work 
but that's okay if it doesn't. Give it a few seconds. Nothing. Okay, that's okay. I don't think, oh, uh, there we go. I don't think this would be uh, something for beginners to start off with personally. Um, not that it would be difficult, um, but yeah. Type the search. Anyway, I would probably stick with the other launcher as an alternative. So let's go ahead and right click again. Alternatives, application launcher, application menu, we'll go with the menu. I think that'll be easier. What about downloading uh, software? Let's see, what do we have here? Discover. This is where you would download your software to tweak your system. Caden Live, very good video editor. Updates, settings, what's installed. Application, everything, yeah. I would probably, um, let me see here. Let's do a search, synaptic. Yeah, this is what I would this is what I would install. If you're going to um, download specific apps for your desktop and or delete, once you get comfortable, I would probably go with this one. It's more powerful and it's not that difficult. Settings, app sources list, installed. And just click to remove. I think this will be fine. Yeah, I don't think you'll have a problem if you're a beginner to this. So this is certainly an alternative. And it looks to me like a very good alternative to the Ubuntu desktop once it switches to GNOME. Some other GTK themes. Window Manager effects. Yeah, there's lots going on here. Let's go back. Let's search. Um, let's see if Chromium. Actually, I just typed in C A C H R O M, and I would probably install Chromium after installing this, just for a faster web browsing experience. So, look, I won't drag this on anymore. I think this is a great alternative. A lot of YouTubers seem to like this. And I would consider this as an alternative or as, um, as a dual boot to your Windows environment. And you don't have to delete this, uh, or, or rather you don't have to delete Windows to try any form of Linux. So I like this a lot. Check out the latest KDE. I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. But so far, as a Windows user dual booter, I really like what I see with this, so check it out. Let me know if you try this, and let me know how it works out for you guys. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.